union of marriage. Troy, you may receive your bride and bring her forward. As you know, marriage is a uniting of two people, two hearts, onto one common path. And throughout your path and your life, you've had your individual experiences that Charlene made you the woman that you are here today. And the same for you, Troy, it's those individual experiences that made you the man that you are, standing here before Charlene. Now through that, you can just keep in mind everything that brought the two of you together. Because although no marriage may be perfect, you can still find that perfect person for each other. And throughout your journey in marriage, there's a few things I hope would carry along its way with the two of you. It would be from the heart to have the ability to listen to one another. What it is that makes them feel whole and part of this relationship. And secondly, the ability to learn. Learn what it takes to help the other fulfill everything from their desires, from their dreams, and their goals that they may have. And lastly, the ability to love. To love unconditionally, which means no strings attached. It's an ongoing love. And this is the type of love that I hope the two of you would wish to share with each other each and every day. So Troy, I'll ask you first, by your presence here today, alongside Charlene, do you take her as your wife in promising to love, honor, cherish, and respecting her always, allowing nothing or no one to come between the two of you? Do you take her as your wife? I do. Charlene will ask you the same. By your presence here today, alongside Troy, do you take him as your husband in promising to love, honor, cherish, and respecting him always, allowing nothing or no one to come between the two of you? Do you take him as your husband? I do. All right, if I could have him. Okay, please. And if you could turn and face each other and take each other's hands. Now, looking into each other's eyes, you will see the very reason why you are here today, proving that there is no one more important than who stands before you. So, Troy, I'll have you repeat your vows after me first. I, Troy, take you, Charlene. I, Troy, take you, Charlene. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Through good times and bad times. Through good times and bad times. Whether we are rich or poor. Whether we are rich or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you. Charlene, looking into his eyes, if you could please repeat your vows. I, Charlene, take you, Troy. I, Charlene, take you, Troy. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will stand beside you. I will stand beside you. Through success or misfortune. Through success or misfortune. Through the joys and sorrows of life. Through the joys and sorrows of life. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you. And at this time, may I have the rings, please? Thank you. <coughs> Thank you very much. Now these rings that the two of you have selected for one another, they're not only tokens, but symbols of the very love and devotion that you are expressing here today. And my hope is that every day in wearing these rings, they remind you of exactly that pledge and promise. And in time, they may lose beauty, but I hope that you value and take honor in wearing these rings for what they truly represent. And through your friends, and family, the beauty will shine through you both, and the two of you will be a wonderful example for all. So Troy, I ask you to take her ring and place it upon her ring finger, and if you could please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. And I feel so honored. And I feel so honored to call you my wife. 
to call you my wife. Sharma, take his token and place it upon his ring finger. If you could please repeat. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. And I feel so honored. And I feel so honored. To call you my husband. To call you my husband. Thank you. You're okay? Now, if you love somebody, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always stand beside them. You will always trust them. And you will stand your ground in defending them no matter what. Now, this is a saying that I like to leave with the two of you. And it says, don't walk in front of me. I may not follow. Don't walk behind me. I may not lead. But walk beside me as a friend. Because after all, that's what you're continuing to build a deeper, richer, stronger friendship built upon the foundation, your relationship that you already have. And also, if you guys can keep in mind, not only will you love each other for who they are, but for what they are helping to make of you. So the 19th of September, a day that would now mark your anniversary. The power vested in me by the state of Nevada, it is my honor and my privilege to now be able to pronounce you as husband and wife. Troy, can we now kiss your wife, sir? Oh. Yeah. I love you, Turner. I'd like to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Garcia. Congratulations.